Hey there, Andy Notko, technology columnist for the Chicago Sun-Times and other worthy places. This is my unboxing video for the iPad Pro, which I'm actually shooting this intro with, as a matter of fact. Uh, so this is just my first flight with the device, uh, working you through the packaging, impressions that are coming to me, uh, and basically making stuff up as I go. Now, a lot of you sometimes in my previous unboxing videos have been have seen fit to tell me that I don't know how to do an unboxing video. Well, that's because I really have nothing but contempt for unboxing videos. It was in the box, and now it's not in the box. So I just you know, give you a walkthrough of what you get inside the box and what it's like to set it up and what my very first impressions are. I'm going to be writing a full review of it in the coming uh, days, uh, but this is just you get to kind of experience it the same way that I did. So let's go back into the studio. Okay, uh, okay, well step one may be actually clearing out the desk a little bit here. Aren't you lucky for having tuned in early? Okay, don't need that. Don't need the Pixar walking teapot, as adorable as it is, and as noisy as that is. Don't need that phone. Don't need these other thingamaboodles. Okay, and I will put this aside in case I need to start or something, start or stop something over there. Okay, I think we are ready to actually take some stuff out of boxes. Uh, so here is. They asked me, "Do you want a, do you want a bag?" And of course, I want a bag. Look, they're very very good bags. Uh, so, uh, this has nothing to do with uh, the iPad Pro. Uh, this is a uh, cinnamon scone from uh, Panera. Uh, that will be breakfast later on. Uh, this, I think, is an everything bagel. Ah, uh, yes, and that will be uh, part of my lunch. Once again, it's optional accessories. Uh, unlike the pencil and the smart keyboard, these accessories are actually available uh, in the same mall where you got this. Wow, kind of early for snark, isn't it, Andy? Okay, but now we get to the actual unbagging before... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was I flushing my, my Hulu VIP pass? <laughs> how, did, how did that get... <laughs> anyway, put that aside. Okay, so here it is. Here we have a box, a what, as it were. Uh, so skinny for something that costs about a thousand bucks. You don't get much box. Not that you're buying it for the box, but I'm not someone who drops a thousand dollars on a lot of things, and I want to see something with like a built-in plastic handle so I can use it as like a pretend I'm a big ex top executive or something and spray paint it black uh, during the off season. Uh, but no, nothing doing. Uh, let's see. We need a got some dental tools here for I've got these the, the the aggressive spudger and I think that will do for this plastic here uh, and yeah it is it is a honking big box uh, for scale I mean here is here is a pencil that's how big the box is it is if you have not seen one in person I mean it is uh, a lot bigger than you would uh, expect it to be uh, so for scale, here is a common bill that I happen to have inside my wallet at all times. Uh, this has nothing to do with the fact that I needed to get a refund uh, for something a week ago and they decided to give me a hundred dollar bill. I always have just nothing but Benjamins, but that is so a really, really big thing. I'll be showing you some more size comparisons later on. Okay, pencil. And so now let's remove the first of what I believe will be many prophylactics, protecting it from these cold and flu germs that are everywhere. I have not had my flu shot because uh, I don't want to have a health advantage that, uh, that uh, this device doesn't have. I feel it'll put us on equal footing. And once again, I, I want you to trust that there's actually a, a trash barrel right there next to the desk and I'm just not, okay, I totally am, but I, I, tried, I try to create an illusion here. Okay, so it's once again, when we do Apple unboxings, we like to see how tightly fit these things are. I would love to one day interview the team at Apple that does nothing but design boxes. Look at how tight those seams are. And so 
watch what let's let's time how long it takes for it to drop i'm lifting it only about a couple inches off the desktop 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 1007 1008 1009 holy cats 1010 1011 1012 1013 1014 1015 holy cats okay is there no there isn't there is no tape on this 15 seconds that's how much it is actually is it actually such a tight fit it got kinked up on that corner there wow i mean I, I i make i make fun of the you know what apple they paint the side of the fence that people no one sees uh and but it's kind of cool they put so much like i said i not no joke i would love to meet the person the people who design these boxes because they are always worth saving see there's even and here, here we are so here, here's the ipad pro it is protected by a prophylactic even so the top the inside top of the box is protected with sort of a Tyvek uh, anti-scratch coating, probably because this is so tight. We're, we should we should unbox the boxing someday. Uh, I'm so, I'm I'm sorry to sound so fascinated by be distracted by the box, but once again, this is how this is how tightly fitted all this stuff is, and a lot of it is certainly saving money because they're trying to fit as many of these boxes in a shipping box and as many shipping box into a shipping container and all those pennies do uh, add up so here we go top of the box is going to be placed with reverence because i would hate to damage those corners and so now we remove the ipad pro i got space gray i'm disappointed that they're not offering it in rose gold not that i would do that but i would like to meet the person who wants to have a huge metallic pink uh, device like this uh, we'll be doing size comparisons later, so we'll, we'll wait that for uh, for a bit. Um, before we look at this some more, uh, let's once again take a look at the official passport. Let's see if its papers are in order. Let's see. So we have our iPad Pro thingamadoodle. Ooh, in color. All kinds of pictures here telling us. You know, see, telling us it's got a smart connector, four speaker audio. Yeah, you know what? If I'm this deep into the box. You got my money already, okay? Give me, give me like a McDonald's gift certificate for free French fries or something. Um, all this sort of stuff that absolves Apple of responsibility when uh, the demonic beast that is entrapped underneath this layer of plastic rises up when you say the accidental incantation takes your soul and allows Apple's manufacturing process to become 0.08 percent more efficient. You're you're kind of screwed there because look, it's all there in tiny black and white. And a holder that you can casually leave somewhere, just as you would accidentally casually leave. Oh, once again, it's my VIP black ceramic hoop hoop pad. <laughs> it means nothing. It's a gift. It's a code for a year of commercial free stuff. Okay, so okay, designed by Apple in California. I wonder if this thing is designed by Apple in California. Again, I'm, I know you're bored with that, but I, I am legitimately interested in how they do their printing. Their printing shop must be great. And once again, another couple of Apple stickers. These are very, very useful if you have an Apple TV, by the way. You should like peel one of these off, wad it up tightly, and stick it to the back of the remote at one end. And that way, in the dark, you can actually feel which end is up and which end is forward. Uh, more beautiful thinking there. We will put that aside. Let's see. So now I have yet another, what I believe is going to be a... Another prophylactic protected marshmallow adapter, and I believe it is going to be a 12 watt, 12 watt USB adapter. I could probably make Lego stuff out of this. I've got so many of these uh, with all the different iOS devices I've got. But bless them for giving you a real, like, chunky, powerful adapter. Um, as you can guess, as you can guess, I get a lot of USB adapters with the things I test out here. Um, this is. Uh, an adapter that I think came with an Asus phone, uh, the Zen phone maybe, uh, and I mean, which honestly, which one would you rather have? This thing that has the jabby, sticky, outy things, or this nice thing that folds out, and especially on a device that could be used as a notebook, this pulls out, and you could conceivably, if you bought one, I guess, because I don't see one here, uh, put in uh, a standard uh, two-wire uh, AC line in there. Uh, and get some distance to uh, your uh, hotel desk. Um, actually, do I have another one here? I believe I do. Yeah, this is 
this is the adapter that comes with uh, the uh, new Chromecast. And once again, I mean, the Chromecast itself folds up for travel, but this, you don't want to step on this in an hotel, unfamiliar hotel room. It's not going to be pleasant. So Apple does, I, I, I enjoy making fun. I get paid for making fun, but sometimes I, Apple does do a lot of really great designs here. Okay, this looks like it is a super long lightning cable. No prophylactic. This could be filled with germs. <laughs> well, probably not. Uh, yeah, this is a super long cord. As a matter of fact, I wish I had... Un <laughs> Ironically, had I unboxed this before setting up my camera here for Periscope, I would not ha have the requirement to plug one of these short cords into a... Uh, battery because uh, my battery here on this iPhone that I'm doing Periscope with is probably going to die without some assistance. So yeah, here is, yeah, see this is, this these there are ways that companies subtly communicate what they intend something to be used for. Uh, and so when it's packed with a uh, lightning cable that is this big, they are clearly saying, please don't just use this as a comic book reader, although I'm totally going to be using this as a comic book reader, um, among other things. Uh, they're clearly communicating, run this from a power outlet uh, in the wall to your desk. Uh, so that's any question about what Apple wants people to do with this. That was pretty much settled here. Okay, and once again, we have nothing under here. Uh, so if uh, I were writing a reboot of Columbo, I uh, would do sort of a mashup between, the, one of my murderers would be a mashup between John DeLorean and Steve Jobs, uh, where he would be manufacturing these amazing uh, pieces of technology, uh, but he'd be using the hollow parts in these boxes for like cocaine, drugs, really tiny furs, uh, because there's, it's, when, when you see how tight and compact this box is, it's almost interesting to see how much air there is in this, but it's, you know, it's not like the air that's in a, uh, a bag of Oreos, you actually, there's probably a, pur a purpose of this. This would also probably make a nice wall clock. You know, just put a, put a movement here, uh, and then even like put like, uh, even put like a phone. <laughs> yeah, so like get one of your old iPhones and mount it there for like weather and uh, date and stuff like that and news, and then put like a, a, a battery like analog movement here. That's one of those stupid ideas that I might have to actually take action on because that's actually not a bad idea at all. Okay, but once again, we take this well-designed box, we put it aside with reverence. Holy cats, we've been talking for three hours and we haven't even talked about this Hoomla Doodle yet. Okay, so here we go. And final prophylactic, not quite as sexy Ugh, as the basic packaging of your Egyptian ancient god or goddess. But it does, oh look, see, I already put fingerprints on it. I already ruined it, I can't have nice things. I never know whether to save these or not. If it gets broken, I'll probably just, you know, uh, insult their designers and put saran wrap around it. Okay, so here we go. And it, I bet they've, they've shipped it partially charged. Uh, let's take a look at all the surfaces here. So here you have, you see speaker grills aft and forward, and there's a matched set of speaker grills here and here. Uh, the idea is that you'll get really, really great sound, and even if you, you know how like the on a regular iPad, you know if you rotate it, the screen rotates automatically. With the iPad Pro, the audio rotates automatically. So if you go from this to this, the stereo will know the it will know the stereo won't go from like uh, left right to left right. It will now be you know left right. I don't know if I'm even going left and right correctly. Uh, lightning connector. Uh, so we're all probably done complaining about uh, the switch over from 30 pin. God, God knows you would, would have room for like a Centronics parallel connector on this one. Well, maybe if it were like five times thicker. Um, I'm actually uh, having now spent some time with uh, Nexus devices, which are my first phones that uh, have USB-C uh, 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 connectors. I actually kind of wish that this had USB-C, and I'll tell you why. Because when you plug in USB-C into this. Uh, there are all kinds of different options for how you can, uh, what what you want that that connector to do for you. Uh, 
you can, for instance, say that I actually, I actually want this to be a source of power to whatever's plugged into the other end. And given that, like, you know, like all big iPads, this is, if you were to look inside, I'm sure iFixit will sh be happy to show you for real uh, in about in about two and a half hours. But this is like all battery. There is nothing but battery in here. Wouldn't it be great to, you have this as your productivity machine, but you can also top off your, uh, it's 10 hours of battery here, but you can top off and get a couple hours worth of uh, phone life off of it. So actually, I and I would kind of like to see USB-C here. Uh, here is volume switches over here. Uh, there is, just like the iPad Air, no lock switch to uh, uh, make sure it doesn't rotate when you are when you don't want it to. I wish, that's one thing that I really, really wish they hadn't deleted because it's such a, there, there are times where you're just like laying in bed or something and you don't, you know, you would like to just make sure, you would like it to be easier than a swipe up and a, a slidey switch is uh, much easier than a swipe up for something so basic. And now here is that brand new connector, one of the really swell ideas uh, that Apple put into this. Bluetooth works great on tablets. I've been using Bluetooth with uh, iPads since day one. Uh, they work great, but at some point you have to switch it on and this has to talk to, uh, this has to t locate and talk to that. And there's always like that little hiccup. Uh, with this, there's just a mechanical connection. It's it's like plugging in a USB cable. If it's connect, if it's if it's in contact, it's connected. Uh, this can also power the keyboard, uh, so you'll never have to worry about the, the the dull drudgery of charging this up once every three months, or buying a set of AAA batteries once a year. Okay, but it's it, it stinks when you you really need to this thing to work and it doesn't work because your batteries are dead. So, uh, home button right here. Uh, I think we talked about volume switches on the back. We have a camera, uh, and no no flash. Uh, this is going to be fun testing out the camera. Uh, <laughs> being you, you, th you think you look like a dopey tourist uh, taking pictures with your iPad Mini. Oh my God! You it's like Ansel Adams cosplay taking pictures with this. It's like a photograph taking photographs with a eight and a half by eight by ten wet plate view camera. Uh, it like the one of the nicest accessories they can come up with is you know a black sort of you know drapery hood to block out all outside light, which you'll probably need if you've got this if you're outside with a reflective surface that's this big. Um, okay, so you can see the little change in reflectance. So that's where the camera, the the FaceTime camera is, or the front-facing camera is. Okay, as with the iPhone 6s series, very very little text on the bottom of it. Uh, Again, interesting. Interesting that they really do. It's, it's not. It's not that these touches have to be done. It's the sort of decision that is that is motive that Apple is motivated to do. That's the sort of stuff that they want to do and they think about. And even something as simple as deleting FCC information. Uh, all it says on the back here is designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. Model. A15, uh, I'm not, not even going to try. There's an FCC ID and the usual like international uh, fire. <laughs> this will not set your daughters and children on fire uh, if you leave it plugged into a charger, all those little uh, CE test uh, icons. Okay, now let's see. I, they, I bet they it, it arrived. Oh, uh, of course, you got the, just to complete our tour here, you got your headphone jack. Look at this. I mean, it's barely thick enough to accommodate a headphone jack. Uh, and there's some of some people, myself included, on when, if I haven't, you know, had a good breakfast, uh, wonder how far Apple's willing to go to make things thinner. And you look at the lightning lightning connector, and you think maybe someday they're going to say, "Gosh, why why are we drilling an extra hole in this case and making it less beautiful? Let's just use make make us a, a new form of like Bluetooth lightning, uh, excuse me, uh, lightning audio connectors, and make people buy brand new headphones." I'm not again. This is this would sound ridiculous for other, any other company, but this is the company that said we even even on a, a device this big, we don't want another three or four lines of text on the back here. Okay, finally, let's light this. Let's light this boy up, and hold down the power button, and we have an Apple logo. You know, it's not a special Apple logo. I wonder if it rotates already. Nope, it does not. So this is now upside down from my perspective. Taking a while to boot up, but this is a first launch situation. It's maybe even possible that it is not charged up enough. Nope. Hey, look. Hello. How are you then? Oop. Wiki wiki. Here you go. Now let's see how adept I am at doing this backwards. 
Oh, la oh no, now, now I gotta wait for it to cycle through all 18 languages to come back to English again. That's just bad design. I'm kidding. Uh, let's swipe. Uh, let's go with English. Is, Kling is, is Klingon a default? Are they that committed to the joke to let you actually start up in Klingon? Mm, I guess not, but okay. English has been good enough for me for many places. United States, let's try that. Choose a Wi-Fi network. Why don't I just put this into privacy mode? And it found both of my networks, wireless networks here in the office. I'm going to enter the password. And already you see the really cool keyboard. Does it rotate already? No, it does not. No, it doesn't. Okay. I'm. Uh, it's really cool that now this thing is wide enough for a full-size glass keyboard. But let's see. Uh, Admiral Nelson was a Freemason. Hey, okay. It can take a few minutes to activate your iPad. Okay, why don't I enable location services? Because if I pass out from exhaustion carrying this around, I want the EMTs to be able to find me. Touch ID. All right, I, sh I should cover this up so you don't see, like, my finger. No, I, I can show you this. So, touch ID. Wow, look how big that fingerprint is. Oh, continue. See, this, I still don't like iOS 7, uh, the iOS 7, 8, 9 user interface. It's so hard to instinctively see that, oh, this is a this is something I'm meant to tap to make something happen. Things just, I, I, I oddly enough, I think it works better on large tablets than on phones, but it's still a bit of a problem. It's, Create a passcode. I think that one I will have to not show you. I'm going to use passcode options. Well, no, actually, I'm going to use a custom alphanumeric code, which I've never done before. Next. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to set this up as a brand new iPad. Every time I get a new device, uh, I do try to... I don't I don't like to carry it from the, the, my uh, apps and settings from the... Excuse me, my apps, at least, from the old one to the new because you add a lot of apps that you never wound up actually using. So you wind up... If you start as a fresh iPad uh, or even a fresh phone, you wind up uh, only installing apps as you need them, which means that after a week or two, you're done installing apps and you find out instead of having... 10 pages of app icons, you only have three, and they're all the stuff that you actually use. So terms and conditions. See, once again, it's a suspicious number of paperwork we have to go through here. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna read all of this. I should, but I'm not going to. There's a there's a comic, there's a graphic novel that that explains all this, and I'll just read the comic book. Boy, that's that's if Apple if Apple were a bunch of friends, they would really do that. They would just like have commission a comic book. They would have uh like uh, Lucy Nicely or a really good artist, just illustrate an entire little comic book that would appear in here. Then people would actually read not only like here's what your terms of uh, terms and conditions are, but also here are like don't shower with this for God's sakes, don't shower with this. Uh, no one's gonna read that. Okay, I agree. It may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Okay. While we're waiting a few minutes to set up our Apple ID, let's see. I happen to have this from an old, old, old Macworld Expo. Here is a, a hockey puck stand. And eh, it will stay up, but it won't stand up. I mean, I could sort of, maybe on this axis, eh, more stable on this axis. Duh. Apple Pay. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing that this is gonna be more useful for uh, <laughs> for like, you know, uh, 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 online uh, logging into your online banking or buying things through the eBay app and stuff like that. I'm guessing you're not going to get people like at the, at, at Walgreens taking this out and pff, tapping this against, <laughs> tapping this against the uh, thing, uh, the, the pad. See, again, this is, again, I just don't like iOS uh, 7. Look, you have to tap the next button to go forward. Maybe you would swipe. No, you wouldn't. Uh, you just have to trust that this, see this blue word, Without any highlighting, that's how you get it. And by the way, uh, so it's arrived here with 76% uh, battery. That's a real friendly gesture on Apple's part because you want to take it out and you want to have fun with it. Uh, you don't want to you know, have to wait uh, to, uh, to charge it up. And now I'm just seeing a spinning in a spin, loving that spin I'm in. 
that old black magic called e-commerce. My card has been added to wallet. Good. iCloud Keychain. I still have not really used iCloud Keychain. Uh, so let's not restore passwords. Don't restore passwords. You're insane. Yes, I'm, in, I'm unpredictable, aren't I? I'm a wild card. I'm a maverick. Continue to not restore passwords. Turn on Siri? Yeah, let's turn on Siri. Diagnostics? Yes, Apple. App analytics. Let's do that too. Shower with app developers. Their, their life is hard enough without me blocking access to uh, data of what happens when things crash. How, har how, how, how hard did I throw this at the wall after your app cap? Welcome to iPad. Let's get started. And now uh, we have... A functional, oh my god, this is, look how sparse this is. This is like the stands at a Pittsburgh Pirates game. Uh, there's just so much empty space here. Um, I don't think I'll, let, let's, uh, let's try a couple of things here. Um, first thing I want to do is, of course, now this, today is Wednesday, and Wednesday is, what? Yes, it's new comic book day. So let's go to the App Store. And let's download the Comixology app. I was checking this app yesterday. A lot of apps uh, in the week before, in the week before the uh, uh, this launch, had already updated their apps. No, I don't want to share comics with my family. They're not that nice to me. And so I was looking closely to see uh, if the Comixology app had been updated. No joke, because one of the there are a lot of little reasons why I decided to buy uh, an iPad Pro. I'm getting my my, my I'm, I'm getting my uh, uh, my eval unit, my my press eval loaner on Friday. Uh, but this has been something that I've been sort of uh, it answers a lot of thing, a lot of questions that I, a lot of desires that I've been having about as an iPad user. Uh, and I knew that I was going to be using it for a lot of personal stuff anyway. And I try not to use. Uh, uh, press loaners for actual work after the review is done. Uh, so I thought, okay, let's cut to the chase. If I can get to, if I can get this two uh, two days early uh, before my uh, my uh, press hardware arrives, uh, Wi-Fi seems to be pre pretty zippy. Uh, but yes, uh, so Comixology. There, there are a lot of little reasons why I decided to buy this. Uh, okay, let's open that. Yeah, the idea. Uh, um, I, I get a lot of uh, Windows uh, 10 devices through my office and. Oh boy, the thing, thing, things I love about using uh, the uh, Windows 10 is just comic books full sized on this screen. I'm sorry that I don't have a uh, sorry that I don't have a real comic book here. So sorry that I actually took a picture. Yeah, you can see that the screen for the Comicsology page is actually larger than a standard comic page. Uh, but the difference between uh, an iPad Air and a 13 inch screen on the Windows 10 is just amazing. Yes, explore the wonderful world of comics, and here we go. Another triumph of logging into places. So, to my knowledge, this hasn't this app has not been specifically rewritten uh, for uh, uh, for the iPad Pro. It looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's been scaled up. Uh, so, let's see what you're getting for free. Okay, here's Chewbacca issue number one. Phil Noto does the art on this one, and I would not have. I've been a fan of Phil Noto for so long. I would not have guessed. I would not have instinctively thought, hey, let's have him do Star Wars comics, but oh my god, Phil Noto uh, on Chewbacca is just amazing. Yes, thank you. I'm, I've been using this for quite a while, sir. And so here we go. we got a full comic book. I'm going to face it myself. It's awesome. Okay. It has not, it hasn't, uh, to my eye, it hasn't been rewritten to take advantage of for anything specific about the iPad Pro, but it looks like they, uh, Comixology, at least when they wrote when they wrote this version, uh, they did a big rewrite uh, fairly recently. They were at least aware of uh, the need at some point to be ready for uh, large, to, to make it sort of device independent. Apple had been spending a lot of time over the past two or three years saying it's going to be in your best interests. We promise you to make sure that you don't automatically know. Uh, what uh, what machine this is running on? Yeah, this looks this looks really good. Oh my god, this is going to be. See, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting into the artwork now. I, I kind of want to like not want to continue to show off this thing and now we'll start writing about it because I want to now buy comics and 
and read it on this. This looks like it's going to be an awesome comic book reader. Okay, uh, but let's move on and show. I want to let's take a look at drawing. We're, I'm going to show you three things, uh, and these are three things that me with me in the driver's seat is the first is a first time experience. Like I said, I had a 20 minute demo, but it's not as though I could grab it and do whatever I wanted with it. Okay, so let's uh, grab a copy of Procreate. Yoink. No, not now. I want fun apps. I don't want business and school apps. It's almost as if you don't know me. Boink. And that has been updated specifically to work with the iPad Pro. Uh, I don't have a pencil. I will have one on Friday when my review hardware comes. Uh, it is not obtainable pretty much anywhere. I saw some people on Twitter claiming that they're able to pick one up in stores today. Uh, the store that I came, I picked mine up at today, uh, they had very few of these to begin with. Uh, I said, oh, so you're gonna be ex expecting a rush of people? He said, no, not really, because we just didn't get very many of these uh, to sell. Uh, and of course, the, I, I look for where can you get a, a pencil? And on the app, you can, and on the, the site, you can just simply say, okay, what if you just simply say everywhere and nowhere in New England, nowhere in New York, uh, so that must be, I, I, I would like to see proof that someone actually managed to buy one. New features added. Oh God, look, they got the, they got like the WWDC style. Let's do it. Let's paint a cloud of, uh, oh look, it's rotating. Uh, let's paint a cloud of features. Um, I'm just going to say next because let's get to the fun part. Quick line is a break, brand new tool that allows you to create now that's interesting. The the demo video is an iPad Air and not an iPad Pro. So I mean, the, uh, if Pro, the people of Procreate, I bet that they put a down payment on like a Tesla uh, with the money they're going to make. There there are a handful of uh, there are going to there are a handful of apps here that are so well suited for this that it's almost as if they were anticipating this three years in advance. Uh, I'm not even reading any of this. I'm just blowing through it. Use Procreate. Thank you very much. I will download. Uh, portrait. Wow, look at this. Uh, and of course, I don't have the pencil. Uh, the screen is pretty bright here. I've got it's competing with a ten thousand watt video light, uh, but I'm not going to crank the brightness all the way up here. It's pretty good. It's not dazzlingly bright. I have to kind of hold it up kind of to face me to really see it. I'm used to, like on my smaller uh, iPhones and iPads, when it's bright, it's almost too bright. This is bright enough, uh, but I mean, oops, ah, no, I want to put smudges on his face. There you go. Okay, and the user interface for this, I was trying to be clever and see, now you can turn it around and like that. And oh man, this is fun. Oh, this is so much fun. I like this a lot. I'm, I'm having fun with this. Once again, I'm ignoring you people because I'm just having a really good time drawing. This is not far away from what Andy Warhol built his entire late career on. Just what if I get something that someone else has created and then just put schmutz all over it. I mean, I'll power more power to him if I could, you know, keep buying expensive robots to do my bidding based solely on my ability to reinterpret other people's stuff. Sorry, I don't know who you are, dude. I'm sorry that I'm schmutzing you up but you kind of had to expect that to happen. This is fun. I think I just got about $30 worth of fun and entertainment out of this just on this alone. Okay, I'm I'm going to enjoy this lots. This is really, really cool. Okay, uh, so that's Procreate. Uh, there is a, I wish the, if the camera were facing me, you'd see a, if the camera were facing me, we're looking at me right now, you would uh, basically see something like, and then something like, <laughs> that would be me right now. Hang on, let's uh, open up Safari. Here is another reason that really justified this for me. 
uh, and that's the ability to do this. And uh, uh, I, I think that I, iOS nine this is a this is a feature that really enhances everything. So it's not as though you have to have a uh, uh, it's not as though you have to have a uh, uh, an iPad Pro for this. But I have been waiting forever to do th just this to have side by side apps, and it certainly does work when you have uh, an iPad uh, Air, and it even works to a slightly l more limited extent when you have an iPad Mini. But you better. You, uh, this is no joke. Uh, there t there have been many times where I would travel with just my 9.7 inch iPad, and I, I spent a week in uh, in Ireland, and then like 10 days uh, a year later in. Uh, uh, Barcelona and London with just uh, my iPad, but I would always have because I I, I had my, my iPad third generation, which was the previous one that I actually owned, uh, and I would also have a second iPad, my my first generation one, with me. Just no, I'm serious, just as a second screen, so that while I'm writing on this iPad, I can be looking stuff up and and uh, getting some re reference material off of this one, and just the ability to you know be writing in this pane over here and just have like a, a safari page over here that's just such an amazing amazing thing uh, i'm so so happy to get this Th that's another reason why uh, i really felt as though i'd be doing uh, I, it would be a good purchase for me uh because i can really d i've been using ipads seriously as a as a notebook replacement for a few years i know extremely well what my pain points are and iOS 9 and this seems to solve most of them. So I was definitely taking a risk. I was definitely taking a flutter here, but I was pretty confident that uh, this was going to pay off. And just seeing how big this is uh, is just really, really cool. Uh, let's get notes going because we want to. I want to try one more thing, and I want to get rid of that. Let's see. Important. You need to install. Uh, I'm not going to install El Capitan on all my devices. This why I this is why I really don't like to I don't standardize my office on Apple apps and technologies. If I'm on uh, if I've standardized my notes on Evernote, which means that it doesn't care what I'm running it on. It's not going to force me to upgrade every computer I have. The computer that I use my podcasting on is actually a generation or two behind because it runs great. It's for podcasting, it's for streaming video. I also use it to convert video from formats and to capture video from a DVR. And uh, I don't want to do an upgrade that then causes it to any of those functions to stop working. I'm using uh, some apps that haven't been updated in a couple of years. So if I were to standardize on notes, then uh, across the board, I would probably lose that functionality. So, so this is really interesting. So here is the size of the virtual keyboard. Here is the size of a full-sized keyboard. And so you, for the first time, you're getting, you know, pretty much one-to-one -one correspondence. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, but not much. So maybe this can be touch typable. Uh, oops, let's see. There you go. One typo, autocorrect helped out a lot, but that's pretty much my typing speed. Um, this this is why I'm a little bit skeptical about the smart cover, because um, uh, I had not had a, I was not at the demo event, uh, the release event in September, so I had uh, I did not have a chance to try out the smart cover keyboard. Um, I was uh, uh, I did try it this morning, and. Uh, I don't like it. I mean, it's, it's just a, it's not as, it's not as bad as, oh gosh, I wish I had it nearby. Uh, oh, here it is. Hang on. Very reminiscent of this Logitech keyboard where it's really super low profile keys. They are mechanical switches. They're not like chiclet switches, but they are, the, the, the travel is about, you know, <laughs> about the, the thickness of this dime pretty much. And so if you're looking for uh, I'll be I'll be getting one to try out on Friday, and so this is nothing I'm saying here. You you're you're here with me, uh, experiencing a lot experiencing a lot of this for the first time. So I'm not giving you a review. I'm not giving you any conclusions yet. But I'm saying that I've used keyboards like that uh, that are styled like the uh, uh, the smart keyboard uh, smart cover before, and they're fine as a as something that is trivially thin that you can toss in your bag, whether you are aware that you want uh, a keyboard or not. 
they're I just don't think they're very good for the purpose of giving you an experience where you're glad that you're you brought a, a, a mechanical keyboard. It's just not comfortable. And I'm gonna be one of the things I'm gonna be testing out is really like is this this is certainly not gonna be more comfortable than uh, the smart cover or any other like physical keyboard no matter what its design is. But is it going to be so much less comfortable? that it would justify having uh, having a, a, a keyboard design like that. I don't know, I'm guessing no. If I, but then again, we're talking about a 13 inch, or well, 12.9, but hey, let's bear with me, a 12.9 inch tablet. And if you're gonna be carrying this with you, is it really that much more difficult to carry a keyboard? Uh, so uh, on a personal level, I'm sort of planning on if I'm gonna be using this as a primary device, carrying a keyboard with me, uh, just buying a cheap like uh, $10 sleeve. Um, I'm looking forward to third party cases though, because again, that uh, that hardware connector is really cool. Also really interested to see like what other manufacturers do with that. Uh, this is my first chance to really just run wild and not have to say, yeah, I know that this is not something that I'm allowed to play with. I know that you have to keep this in good condition. I really just wanna see if I can break it. Well, there you have it. Um, that was my first flight with a device, uh, incomplete. I think my, my camera kind of crapped out on me, but uh, you get you get the full walkthrough, the full setup. I'm really happy with my purchase so far. All of this are really just surface impressions, of course. Uh, you saw exactly how much time I spent with this, and I've spent another hour, maybe two hours, uh, inside actually editing that same video right here on this exact device. Uh, so, so forgive me for not rotating the video uh, when it might have been appropriate. I don't think you can do that on this device, uh, but uh, it was really, really comfortable editing movies here in iMovie on the iPad Pro. The, the extra screen real estate really makes it feel like a natural native experience. That's overall what I'm really looking forward to. I think that Apple has been missing the boat on multi-touch uh, in powerful desktop applications because there's some there's a mindset you enter into when you're using a big screen device when it really is kind of almost uh, consuming your field of vision and there's a way to use multi-touch in these sort of extended hours of productivity immersed in a big screen that Apple hasn't really been supporting yet and the past hour and a half I've spent editing this video is kind of a case in point. I'm looking forward to more creative tools like that. You saw how happy I was using uh, Procreate and other drawing tools. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the first time I actually put together a presentation on this device. Uh, it's, uh, a Keynote is probably one of the finest multi-touch apps ever made for anything. Uh, so it's going to be pretty exceptional, I, ex I expect, on the, Mac, uh, on the uh, iPad Pro. So keep tuning in. I'll have a full review uh, in about a week. I'll have a more in-depth uh, 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 look at this in a couple of days. Uh, thanks for watching the video so far. And if you skipped around, I just don't blame you.